forget me, little darling, while I'm growing old and gray. Just a little thought before I'm going far, far away. I'll be waiting on the hillside where the wild roses grow. On the sunny side of the mountain where the rippling waters fall. Good afternoon, we're broadcasting here at the QFT car park outside the library. My name is uh, Captain Buddy and I'm broadcasting on Radio Buddy 2FM X13 forward slash over www and a bit. Um, broadcasting from a biscuit tin here in the caravan in the library car park and I'd like to introduce to you now Great old star of the 1920s and 30s, Mr. Al Jolson with Sonny Boy. Climb up on my knee, Sonny Boy. Boy, you're only three, Sonny Boy. You've no way of knowing. Well, we're in a caravan which is called the Radio Body Cave, or the Radio Body Enclave, or just simply the Radio Body Caravan, which broadcasts on wavelength 2x and a half forward slash 3 multiplied by 2% over nothing. But people might say, well, that doesn't make an awful lot of sense. And that would be a very accurate appraisal of the situation in which we find ourselves, because in one way, the whole conceptual idea of Captain Buddy and his mysterious radio station doesn't make any sense. But on another level, it makes all kinds of sense. That is, if you're tuned into the proper wavelength, which is Buddy 2 and 6 over 4 bits. Which really means is there's a kind of an inherent absurdity and an acceptance of, shall we say, the sideways. That is, uh, I suppose, if there were to be a Radio Buddy manifesto, that would be a fundamental premise of it, that uh, the haphazard, the somewhat slapdash and the unexpected might always be central to its philosophy. Um, it began five years ago at the Flat Lake Festival, has now moved on from that, and we find ourselves in Belfast, we may find ourselves in Mundor, it's a movable feast as it were now. So where we'll end up we don't really know, but it, uh, it never really strays imaginatively from the fifth dimension, the outer limits shall we say. Of, uh, it, it's very much a cross between the 1950s science fiction serials and old sponsored programs from Radio Warren or BBC Ulster. BBC Ulster is a part of it in the sense that <coughs> there used to be tea time programs like Tea Time with Tommy or Out and About in Ulster with Charles Weatherspoon. And uh, these were very loud, absurdly checkered jackets and talk a lot of peculiar um, subjects with people over hedges. And that would be very much part of the Radio Buddy ethos. Unfortunately, in the uh, corporate age, people are a little bit uncertain unless you have something to sell them or you're trying to put one over on them or you're being ironic. This is a very simple mind adventure. It's very ordinary, it's about ordinary people, and I'm an extremely ordinary person. And uh, so they're more than welcome to chat to me if they have the sort of leaning over a hedge type um, casualness about them. If they were an excessively sharp suit, it might be a problem. I'm prepared to go to any festival that shares the philosophy of Captain Buddy, which is the modern world has become too homogenized, has become too money driven. If it is a festival that knows how to enjoy itself and take its time and is not solely there to root people for every hefty it can get, then we're there with our tow bar on our caravan. Mm -hmm. 